Mother Doris Edge. Giving honor to Mother, to the ladies of the rostrum. I'm indeed glad to be here today to represent and tell you a little about the workshop. Ladies, are you ready? It's time. It's time for the workshop. Now, you know what class you're supposed to go to. And if you will look around and find your signs and go to your respective classes. I just had to do that a little bit because it's at meetings like this that that voice just rings in my spirit. And when it starts ringing, it comes out. Let me go back a little bit and start with the beginning of the workshop. The workshop is one of the foundations of this church and of the women's department. Mother Corey Bale Berry started it all. We were all in one assembly as we are here today. And we tried to have our lessons. We tried to go to our different classes. Now, Mother told me all of this. I wasn't there. But she told me about how they tried to have their lessons. And one day, Mother uh, walked in and said, we sound just like a bunch of cackling hens. And nobody could understand what anybody was saying. We were out screaming each other. So that's when Mother Berry thought, why don't we just divide out in classes? And that's what they did at that time. They started out with the five classes, the five uh, leading auxiliaries. And then over the years, it multiplied. And the leaders, the new leader brought in, each le new leader brought in a new program. Then when it got down to Mother Dinwiddie's turn, she brought, had 27 classes to begin with. This place, like, a place like this was filled to the capacity. Classes, classes, classes everywhere. I remember bringing the banners, the, the uh, charts over the airplane and the people wondered why I was carrying all this stuff on the airplanes, but we had no other way to get them to the convention. And we assigned, come in the night before and put the banners up so the ladies would know what class to go through. Ladies, this workshop has been a wonderful work for some years. Over the years, the program has changed and through necessity, because when we broke out into the classrooms, oh, that's when we ran from here to there to try not to, to tell you all, don't have church in your classroom, just teach. We're supposed to teach and learn of, of the Bible and study. This isn't a time to have church. And a lot of times we would go to the different classrooms and they were having church. Each little section would have their own ministry going. And it just grew and grew. It started out with mother with 27 classes. Then a couple of years later, it went to 32 classes and uh, the last time that she was at this podium, she had 36 classes and the auditorium was filled to capacity. That just goes to show you how we have grown. And I have heard it said many times that Bishop Mason said there would come a time when we wouldn't find a place that would hold all of us. 
and that is surely what has happened here. When I saw the ladies lining up today to come into this session, and we were just everywhere. And even though those seats are empty there in the back, when you would count each one of these ladies here, you would find out that you would have over a thousand people here. And that shows how we have grown. And the workshop was a big part of that. That was a big, big part. You know, when you're building a building, you don't start at the top. You have to start with the foundation, and you have to make that foundation strong. And in the process of building that foundation, you have what they call rebars. And those bars are heavy and they are tied together with little, little pieces of uh, cord, not cord, but wire. And the construction workers tighten them real tight and, and they make all of these rebars real tight. That's what the workshop has done for the women's convention, I believe. Naturally, I would believe that because we have been a strong part. Even though the format has changed but through necessity, and we want you to keep coming, keep getting your material, taking it home, and keep the Word of God in your hearts. And always remember that voice that says, now ladies, it's time. It's time for you to come in, gather in, bring in your envelopes, and let us go on with the program. Thank you.